Okay, guys, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capellan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, what I'm going to do is just to show you. Uh, I think they will be, this will be part two of this uh, series video tutorial for this scheduling system, okay? So guys, today, uh, the scope of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how are you going to populate this uh, combo boxes for spine and the days, okay? So in this application, what I try to do here, okay? So I try to create here a module for doing the task, okay? So how are you going to create a module? Go to your solution explorer, right click on your solution, then you can add, then you can add a module, okay? So module by default it will be module one, okay? Now it's a good practice to rename the module appropriately, okay? So I don't need to add because I already created the uh, module. So I'm just going to walk you through with the module, okay? So I have here all the modules. Under the subfolders, I have all here the modules. So this is the module that I have created, okay? So that will be pop combo box VD, okay? So this is the one. So let me show you. Okay, in a module, you can create several sub procedures. Okay, so module pop combo box. Okay, so because I have several combo boxes in my main form, so I need to populate all those pop, uh, all those combo boxes. So here I have the first sub procedure that I have created here is public sub populate CBO time. Okay, so sub populate CBO time here, I'm using here one parameter. I declared one by value, one variable as combo box. Okay, so the object type is a combo box. Then with, I'm using here with, all this object, clear all the items. Then another with, now this is the time that I'm going to populate it. So this is the available time, 7.30 to 9, 9 to 10.30, 10 10.30 to 12, of course, you need to coordinate with the guy who is doing the manual scheduling of the subjects, okay? So talk to him, get all the, all the time for all the subjects, okay? So then you have to specify it here, okay? So that when the form loads, the one that is going to use this application will just select the items or the appropriate time, okay? Now, likewise, for the days, I have here another sub-procedure, public sub-populate CBO days. Again, the same uh, type of object, combo box. Then the same approach, clear all the items for that combo box. Then add the following days. Again, as I said, coordinate with the guy doing the scheduling. So what will be the days? MW, TTH, Friday, Saturday, then I don't think there will be Sunday. Now, of course, every school, they have their own uh, scheduling system or uh, days of, uh, for a specific subject, let's say only MW, before there will, it will be MWF. Okay, then. okay, you know what I'm trying to say here, okay? So once you uh, prepare the sub-procedure, then you can call it for this when this form loads. So how are you going to call it? Okay, now here, this is my main form. Now I am here, the part where I'm going to populate it is this part, okay? So for X, I'm using here a for next slope, okay? Then I'm taking a for X variable, okay? As combo box in GB time because I am here, okay, let me show you. This is a group box. No, no, no. Group box, where are you? Okay, so this is the group box. The name of that object is G GB time. Then here also, I have also a group box. Where are you? Okay, a group box, GB days, okay? So let me go back to the code for HCBO as combo box in GB time. So there is a group box. Then I'm referring to all the controls of type combo box because in that... Uh, Let's say in this GB time, I have also here a label. So I'm not, I'm excluding that label. I'm just trying to select all the combo boxes. Okay. So select all the combo boxes. Then I call the sub procedure. So it will do whatever is the code in that sub procedure. Okay. Now when I call it, when I call it, 
then I have to supply the variable. Okay, so this is the one, the argument that I need to supply in that sub procedure. Likewise, uh, populate combo box for day. So this one will do the work for populating the, uh, the days. Okay, so this one. The same approach. Okay, so let me show you how it works. Okay, so let me run it. But I think I need to, okay, I need to share, new share, okay. New share, okay. Multiple participants, okay. Okay, new share. I will share this running application. So you will see. Okay, so I hope you are seeing this one. So I will select, so let me do some scheduling. CPE, computer engineering, first year. Now this will be for second semester. The first thing I need to do is load the subjects. So I'm loading the subjects. So I'm taking the subject from the database. So here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine subjects with subject code, subject description, lab unit. So I have nine for lab, then 26 for lecture. Then I'm expecting I already populated all the combo boxes. Here. Okay, so as you can see, all the combo boxes will be populated okay yeah so guys this is how to populate these combo boxes okay so maybe another part is how to get the subjects so i'm going to show you how i did that one for the next part or the how i try to populate the rooms how i try to populate the instructor column and this one okay so guys this is the scope of this part and if you are new to my channel, please help me promote this channel by subscribing. And you can also uh, click the notification bell so that you will be notified for the next upload. Thank you very much for watching. Before I will end, God bless us all. Let's all be safe. And bye for now.